boom boom here we are <laughs> hey welcome to farmhouse fabrics everybody and who do i have with me today da, 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 i'm da, so da. excited to be here <laughs> I am. this is connie palmer hey and um so for those of you who don't know connie has been sewing for a long time and she has been all over the country and all over the world teaching classes mm -hmm. And so um, she and I have been friends for many, many years. Mm -hmm. We actually worked on a sewing project together when oh, we yeah. first got started. We did. And worked we for did. that cor what the coral, the coral, the coral, the coral, coral crew. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, man. And that was really uh, hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what amazed me was yeah. that, I mean, I think you had the job first. And then, I don't, I don't, I don't remember how. I don't even remember. But anyway. But I thought, well, here's somebody who's like, I'm, I'm doing part of the job, and she's, she's like, just friendly. Yeah. And I, and I thought, well, this is a nice person. <laughs> she, she's friendly. <laughs> she's a nice person. <laughs> so if you've had the privilege of taking classes from oh, Connie. That's so then, sweet. Yeah, I'll tell you, you enjoy I, reading some of these comments? I, they just touch my heart. That's mm -hmm. all I can say. It's yeah. been a long season. Don't be crying. Nope. Now we're gonna be. We're gonna, we might be we're doing not crying some today. crying yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> we just said that, too. and uh, it's much better, mm -hmm. really, really mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. And these just were good. I, I printed Connie out um, <laughs> co a copy, and then I also printed one that we cut up for for our yeah. drawing. But then she and I were going through these earlier. Just cracking up. On some. some of them are pretty funny. Some of them are so sweet. They are. And and the Gosh. fact that you remember taking classes yeah. from Connie and the things that you did, it meant a lot to you, didn't it? Did, it? it meant a lot. It meant a lot, especially when, when you remembered and I didn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> just That's kidding. No. But, you know, I mean, they were just all so sweet. But, but I did, it's not that I don't remember. It's just that I don't remember until you said it. Yeah. And then That's I right. remember. That's you know, it right. does, like, not coming back. But I obviously made some kind of contact with you or some kind I of I know I love that. Ooh, I'm I'm trying to find Chills. trying to Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, they're excited. Oh good. Hey, ladies, hi girls. Hey, hi, hey, 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 hey everybody. Really oh, I'm so excited. Up. I wish I could just see all of you just like give you a hug. Really. Lucy's <laughs> Nana here. Love you and miss you. Oh. Chris Amato? Oh, yes. Amato. yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Sweet. Yeah. Love so I'll, I'll ask you a couple of um, funny ones. <laughs> okay, good. Do you have any UFOs? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do with yours? Well, I just leave them there until someday I go back <laughs> to them, I guess. I mean, I really I don't throw them out, but uh, a lot of them aren't like actual UFOs. There's something that I started, and you'll see in just a minute what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I, I start making something, designing something, and it's not right. So I put that away, and I start it over again. And then that's not right, I start it over again. That could be the UFO. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not really like the whole thing is a UFO. Well, th this is a question. Um, Connie, how often are you in the sewing room? <laughs> and so her life has changed here you know? and there over mm -hmm. the years. And right now she's living with her sister. <laughs> and so the quarters are a little more cramped so she doesn't have a dedicated sewing room like she's had the privilege of having it's, in the past. <laughs> it's my bedroom, sewing room. It's coming though. <laughs> oh, it's coming. We're, yeah. We'll be moving out of there. I mean, you know, yeah. it's just one of those things. So I was just lucky that I could have my sewing machine yeah. with me so and when, have when a bed. Says, you how know? often are you in the sewing room? All the well, time. <laughs> all the time. But when you had when you had a dedicated sewing oh, room, I was in there all the time. Yeah, I really was because I had a TV in there, so it, it's that's really my entertainment. Yeah, honestly. Well, that's what somebody else said about it being good for your mental health. It is good for your mental. I, I'll tell you, you go through seasons in your life. I know you all have every single one of you, and you have to have something that'll get you through. Mm -hmm. And that got me through. Yeah, that's right. Sewing always does. Go in there, you can sew, get rid of it, mm -hmm. not think about it. Not everybody hearing. feels that way about sewing. No, they don't. You're right. <laughs> I do sew. So, but I like to hear the sewing machine. I like this, oh. the, yeah. And, but some people I sewing think frustrates. About that. Yeah. But it's the, right. it's that rhythm. Right. I think. And, uh, but some people get aggravated with sewing. Mm -hmm. I think that's what you mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. I have had certain people in classes, and I think, this might not be... <laughs> <laughs> my, 
Might not be your thing. Hobbies that you want <laughs> for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Question for you. Yeah. Honey. Yeah. So Terry So asked, honey, who taught you how to sew? That is a good question. That is a good question. You know, and I, I really um, can't tell you exactly, except when I was in high school, um, we had uh, sewing. I always took sewing in high school. So and was I, it home ec? Yeah, it was home yeah. ec. Uh -huh. But you could pick sewing instead of, or did you, had did you have both. to do cooking no, and sewing? No, you had cooking and sewing. I prefer, I like them both. But you're, a, you're a great <laughs> cook, too. I like to cook, too. Yeah, you do. So, um, but I always did that. Now, my both of my grandmothers sewed. My, my grandmother on my mother's side sewed not actually when I could, you know, was coming up at it. Um, she had kind of gone past that, but she always sewed a little story uh, of her sewing. She had three girls, and every year they had the county fair. Okay, th this right. is in Kansas. Yeah. And school started right She's after. She's a Kansas girl. I'm a Kansas girl. We'll get to that. Yeah, with yeah, the we will. With a little story. Fred Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so school started right after that. So she always sewed three or no five dresses for each child so one day for you know oh wow you see what i'm saying uh, yeah. and they wore yeah. them every day of the of five, the, five days of uh, school day five right, school days week also days. they got to wear them to the fair and then they wore them to school oh. so i can't even imagine right i can't even imagine so did the, did they enter things in the fair no she didn't oh really she didn't mm -mm. no she didn't enter anything Billy in the said fair. connie's chocolate brownies at Oh, now she gave said me that, that recipe. <laughs> Billy Paris? Billy Paris? Yeah. <laughs> Listen. I've those heard are the recipe recited. I don't think I've had them. Oh, you haven't? I have made I made them for every class after Connie showed me. Oh, well, I've had yours. Well, it came from her. Yeah. With the, the, with the, the candy bar inside? With the candy bar inside. Oh, okay. oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's, that's, I'll tell okay. you the story that's about that real quick. I'll tell you the story about that, how I got that. Um, we might have to share it with everybody. Yeah, <laughs> you really <laughs> <Yeah>. should. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, Peggy Dilbon and I, we traveled for like 17 years, you know, doing the, this the traveling Mark Paul schools. And we were in New Jersey. And if she's watching now, she's going to know who you are, who, who I'm talking about. But we begged her for the recipe for those brownies. And she kept saying, uh, I can't. It's a family, so I can't give it to you. Oh. And we kept saying, please, we won't tell your family. Oh. You know, like. It's okay. We're not going to tell your family. So finally, she sat down and she said, now, here's the thing. My family thinks I make these from scratch. <laughs> so that's right. funny. Yeah. That's so, they would never know this uh, is the recipe. Exactly. Now. And so <laughs> what she did was her, I don't know, her niece or somebody wanted them in college. She wanted the recipe. She wouldn't send her the recipe. She sent her all the ingredients. She undid the cake mix, put oh, it in a bag. Oh, man. <laughs> That's funny. And we just laugh. I have laughed over that since. I, I, I don't even know how many times I've made that. I know. And it is a hit every, every single, single time. time. Every single time. Yeah. It's Lisa's sort of. Lisa's already asking for the recipe. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It's all. It's sort of like my grandmother's hamburger casserole that I have given the recipe out of <laughs> a million times. <laughs> well, I might have to have that one. Oh, too. that's a good one. That's a good that, one. Though. We'll right. have to do that one too. That was good. Oh, yeah. anyway, back to this. I'm sorry. So, but anyway, another thing because I saw this. So Connie has a YouTube channel, and what is it? Oh, Connie Palmer Sewing. Yeah. And on <laughs> that channel, simple. Connie Palmer Sewing, um, a lot of videos, how to. Yeah, they're all how to videos. They're all free. Mm -hmm. um, I don't charge for those. Someday, when I'm a big girl, I grow up. <laughs> I reach adulthood. Yeah. <laughs> I might do classes uh, online, mm -hmm. and then I'll mm -hmm. charge for them. But mm -hmm. for the moment, I'm just doing techniques. Because some people just need the technique. They right. don't really need a class in something. And it's kind of neat sometimes to see a short technique. Right. You know, to see right. it and, and not have right. to. Like sometimes when I'm looking up for Thursday tidbit right. ideas, I, I really just rather read something than to sit there and watch 40 minutes of video. I know, video. I don't want to watch, yeah. Yeah, because I might not. I, I'm 20 minutes, I'm maxed yeah, out. Yeah. I'm maxed out. I had one young lady who watched the Madeira one which is actually a little longer mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. had to be it was, mm -hmm. and she said she has toddlers you know young children mm -hmm. and she doesn't have time 
to watch a long video, but she was glad that she continued on to watch the whole thing because she right. had learned so much, and I was so happy that she did learn it. Well, th this, okay. I love this. Luann Dollar said, I love I love good stuff because we were laughing about stuff I, I yesterday. <laughs> stuff. Everything was stuff, and uh -huh. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry I'm keeping <laughs> using that word. I would ask Connie for advice on what would be the best resource book or guide for someone who's completely new to the world of heirloom sewing. But this is what I love. Her, your videos have helped her so much. Just finished a gown using your method of attaching entredeau to gathered fabric, and it was amazing how it turned out. Now, I think she's the one that sent you a picture. I think so, too. Of that sleeve. On my and Connie Palmer. man, was yeah. it beautiful. And that was on Facebook or That was Instagram. my Facebook. I have a Facebook group, too, called Connie Palmer Sewing. You can join it. Believe me, I click in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're in. You you're, in. Ask. you're in. <laughs> you're in. You're in like Flynn. But that, right. I have my own interesting way of gathering fabric, and it really does work. And a lot of people have trouble with gathering fabric, mm -hmm. you know, putting mm -hmm. entredeau to gather mm -hmm. fabric. And I'm so glad she said that. Yeah, and that makes plus sense. that her picture was uh, it gorgeous. Was, it was gorgeous. Yeah. It was, it was perfect. Like, I saw that and I thought, ooh, that's, wow. that's ooh. nice looking. <laughs> yeah. Natalie says, I love those videos. You're so good explaining Oh, well, thank you so much. She'd rather tell you than write it. Yeah, right? I would. I don't write good. <laughs> she can, no, really, she can I, teach yeah. just out the yin-yang. But Then I but, have to go back and write it. And I'm like, oh, oh I, have to, I, I have to tie to do myself that. to a chair, mm -hmm. you know, to sit down. And, it's never been the favorite part. Nope, nope. <laughs> but she can, she can come up with it. <laughs> Now the, um, well, you're in the right day and age for the videos. I know. That's yeah, that's the truth. That, that's right. That's Let's truth. see here. Let's see. So, um, where is, wait, you know, what age? We said what age did you uh, start I was your young. I, yeah. I mean, I sewed all kinds of little things. Now, my other where? grandmother, my dad's grandmother, uh, was from, they were from upstate New York, and she worked at the glove factory. You wow. know, that's when they make Can gloves. Can you imagine making gloves? And that fabric, you know, didn't, sh uh, I don't know what it was made out of, something synthetic, I know, cause, and it didn't ravel. So she'd right. bring the scraps home, and I'd sit there, and I could sew, you know, Barbie doll dresses with that. Yeah. I'm trying to find Fred Ferris's question for you. Uh, hi, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, sure. Denise said hello, everybody. Hey, hey Denise. G &G day. Aww. It's a what? Happy G&G &G Day. That's right, G&G. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that's the truth. We're both the GG. GG, yeah. All right, Fred, where are you? I know. Oh, here Today. he is. Okay. Okay, Fred. Fred. We love Fred. Hope you're there. Yeah. <laughs> Lord of mercy, it's going to be a barrel of laughs with Sally and Connie. I wish I could be your manager and take you on the comedy. <laughs> Sometimes we're crying, not laughing. I know, that's right. So, let me think. What question can he give you? Okay, this is your his question. Have you ever skinned a catfish? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, <laughs> I am from like, Kansas. Like, where did he come up with that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm from Kansas, and we go back to the river, and we fish for catfish. Okay? I personally did not skin them, <laughs> but my cousin did. And we don't have the little catfish like this. We have the, the big catfish like this. Man, I'd be and afraid And that's not of a those. fish story. Yeah. No, I would be afraid of them, too. Wow. But I said, you know, do you really eat those? And she said, yes. Yeah, we ate them. <laughs> you know, yeah. That's you're on a we, farm, you ate. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> true. Wow. Yeah, you what God gave you. That was the yeah, no kidding. But he, we would save them. You know, he'd freeze them. He'd cut them out and freeze them. Mm -hmm. And then one night, we'd have a big fish fry. Mm -hmm. So catfish, number one. Now, Connie, when she'd go back and visit her family in uh -huh. Kansas, she found these little... Um, uh, hideaway antique stores and then you so, came across some amazing a gold mine patterns. I know it. They were really, history. They were really, history. Yeah. yeah, they were historical. They were <laughs> maybe early 1900s, yeah. weren't oh, they? Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, that that's neat. That's yeah. that's very fun to yeah. to be able to find that. Yeah, a find. A find. Well, Connie brought a. I'm gonna have to show you. Have yeah. you show this? Yeah. Connie brought a, a pattern that she ordered, and I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I've, I'm gonna have to order this yeah. pattern. So. And I'm gonna make it, and she's gonna make it too. And then we're gonna, gonna ask gonna all of this. you to go through. Yeah. All the fabric online. <laughs> see yes. what you would make it out of. That's right. Because I just think it's so cute, and it's very trendy. To me, this is very trendy. How, do we need and to put the? We can go thing to the on? overhead. Um, Right here. I'm looking all over the place. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is our, our long-handled reacher. 
I'll just and then we're going to get it hair. a little bit closer. So we have an overhead for mm -hmm. YouTube and Facebook yep. and for um, Instagram. I'm going to show you. I'll show you this this picture and we'll put. Oh a, yeah, yeah. We'll put Sorry. a link. We'll put a yeah. link to the picture. So, so tell them about this. This I, is cute. I mean, it just really to oh, me was what I way. what I've been seeing in the store, and it hides my sort of. <laughs> You know. <laughs> I do know. <laughs> well, it's a perfect I, I, for the I belly, feel right? Like it would hide it. Well, anyway, at, least it, at least you can button it, it covers it up. That's right. And then that it's longer. Here. You know, it's yeah. a little longer. And I thought, oh boy, that would be a really pretty blouse out of about anything. You have so many beautiful I know. Fabrics that's why out there. I said, what fabric would you pick? So you did. There, I went out and grabbed pick. one because mm -hmm. I just love this fabric. So you can tell she likes pink. Yeah. <laughs> and so. But look at this. Wouldn't that this, not be gorgeous? With white pants? Yeah, this would be really pretty mm. with white pants. So here we have the top. Or and even, this is you know. Jules Woven Tunic. And it's from Style Arc yeah. Patterns. So it's Australia, right? Did, yeah. But didn't, did it come from Australia? No. So it came from somewhere in the States, I think right? it came somewhere from the States. I should have saved this. So pattern. she did order it. With um, I don't have to print it out, which yeah. was fun for me, yeah. fine for me because it's an adult blouse, so that'd be a lot of pieces. I'd rather just, but this is this I is so this. pretty. This is so it does pretty. Come in PDF too. Oh, it does, does? It? okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That was so okay. sweet, but yeah, you do love pink. I do love pink, but that's, I just thought that's, that's so pretty. summery. That's pretty, yeah. But there was another softer fabric in there, like a jersey, that I thought would be pretty out of it too. So a jersey would a be jersey real would nice. Be, yeah, real be, pretty. It'd be nice fall in nice. There. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think I'm gonna make myself one. Uh, let's see. It's um. Like four to size. <laughs> four. I mean, here it says ten to twenty-two. Yeah. Does it say four? Let's look at. This is four to thirty. I guess that might be European. I don't know. That's is that European size. Or yes. Well. Maybe not. That's the bus. That's the measurements. Mm -hmm. So. Is this choose a size? When uh, size is four to fourteen, you? six to twenty. Oh, there are three. Twenty-two to thirty. Mm -hmm. well, maybe so. With the printed one, you get multiple. Notice how we yeah. researched it ahead of time for you. <laughs> <laughs> So we're so all just be really ready with right, the answers. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm right yeah, here in front of you. Yeah, but it, the, uh, yeah it's nice in awesome color. Yeah, uh -huh. so I'm excited about that. Yeah, but we do have like if you order as a PDF, our go to um, our go to place for getting it printed and having them ship it to you and it doesn't cost much is called the Plotted Pattern. Okay. okay. The Plotted Pattern, and they're actually in Georgia, I think. Oh. And, uh, and I'm telling you, their prices are great. They're really fast. All you have to do is send them the, the download once you order it from oh. a PDF company, and they send it to you printed. Oh, and I'm going to do that. The color, you can get it printed in color or black and white at the same price. Wow. Mm -hmm. Might as well do color. Yeah. Exactly. Very, very reasonable. Yeah. Very reasonable. Oh, no, that's good. And then know. when we take Gail Doan's uh, classes, and she has, I mean, like an 80-page Book, book that goes with her class right. it's so fabulous you will never have an 80 page book for yeah me, okay? <laughs> that's right i love gail she is a dear dear friend that's, that's and she right. can write <laughs> yeah she can it's true but you can have you, you could have take notes eight, that's right yeah, that's take right notes. take take notes i will have a pattern never i will have directions i will yeah. say but yeah <laughs> But anyway, they yeah. print they print that and they'll put it in a spiral um, form, spiral bound. Wow! And um, and it's a very very low cost compared That's to any place that you go, any any office place. So wow. yeah, they're they're a terrific place. So, so. this okay. is so. What do you think I should make it out of? Oh, we're gonna go back through there. I know we're gonna have to. Cause I definitely. It would be pretty in yeah, linen. Yeah, I like that. It would be pretty in linen. I need, you know those, I made those pants last year, the T-U-L-U-M mm -hmm. pants? Tulum. Tulum. I can never pronounce anything oh. right. And um, and I really did wear them, and they were a linen blend, uh -huh. and they went down with the house. <laughs> Time but to make new bloomers. I know, got to make some new bloomers. <laughs> That's right, I new do. New bloomers. I do, yeah. So that's our first thing. 
Yeah. I think you should talk about what's coming up. Okay. Because Let's we're talking that. about classes yeah. and you teaching. And then I'm going to go through some other stuff yep. that we got. Yeah. So. so something exciting is yeah. in Connie's yeah. works. Yeah, in the works. <laughs> so what is it, Connie? Tell me what it is. Okay. I'm going to be teaching a regular class, mm -hmm. <laughs> an in-person class. And a lot of people have asked about that. Yes. And I'm very excited about it because it's I haven't done it for a while and so I'm getting back you know back into it mm -hmm. um, and it's I'm doing it in conjunction with a friend of mine Lisa Maddox who is from Australia and she has a, a company called Forge F-O-R-A-G-E yeah like Forge through stuff mm -hmm. she does oh she does uh, takes people to France and all kinds of things oh, and they cool. go through these you know all kinds yeah. of stuff and, but she, what she teaches is something called slow stitching okay I'm gonna hold this yeah. up for the for Instagram uh -huh. and you keep talking and I can even do it <laughs> and you're but not a uh, handy because you know I'm love not handwork, I really. don't love handwork mm -hmm. I really don't but I mm -hmm. took her class because I wanted to see exactly what mm -hmm. you know we were getting into there and it's, you're just placing stuff on top of another, and you're doing big stitches around it. And I'm telling you, it just comes out so cute. Yeah, it's so artsy. It really is. And, it's and look just at those a, bright colors, which I love. that's totally you yeah. bright colors. But, yeah. and she, I mean, it's just good. So you can, um, she has a Facebook uh, page, and I think we're linking that, right? Emma's, Her, yeah, Emma's Emma, linking. And mm -hmm. also, we have a link that you can go to to check out the, um, I'm not going to hurt like it, I'm going for it, uh, for the class, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. See? We got it all there. So the, the, oh, yes. cla the class is not going to be in Australia. No. It's going to be no. in Huntsville. Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah. So it's like and accessible to everybody. Accessible to everybody. It's really easy to get in and out of mm -hmm. Huntsville Airport. Mm -hmm. It's really, mm -hmm. really easy. And so her class and um, my friend Lisa, and my class will be two days each one. So will people be, she, like half of them will be in one, one yeah. for two and days and, and then you swap and off. And swap off. I think that's the way it's going. But here's the cool thing, because Connie is going to be teaching her machine sewing yes. class in a, in, a, in a sewing machine shop yes. called. s &R Sewing. And they are so generous to let people use their sewing machines. Yes. I mean. Like, really, you do not yeah. have to bring your machine. You right. can use those. Actually, I'm writing the directions for that actual mm -hmm. machine mm -hmm. so that as you're working on oh. it, you yeah. there's no Nice, because up. you don't have to go through no. 10 but different But it's kinds. easy to turn it over to another machine because mm -hmm. we're talking about straight stitch, mm -hmm. zigzag, and a pin stitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold yeah. yours up because if you're if you like heirloom sewing at all, this would be a wonderful. Yeah. Um, Mine Plastic is set tape. up, and I'll show you the project in mm -hmm, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Mine is set up for you to learn how to do all the basics, okay? Madeira applique, mm -hmm. pin stitch, uh, lace shaping, mm -hmm. uh, pin tucks, folded tucks, lace to entredeau, lace to lace, and lace shaping. So all of those things yeah. are on... Mm -hmm. The table. I did a table runner rather than a dress because I don't. I want you to concentrate on Technique. the techniques mm -hmm. and not on construction. Right. So that's yeah. it. And then Audra Kennedy, who Ooh, lives in Huntsville, be she's also going to teach a class which is separate from these two mm -hmm. uh, in silk ribbon embroidery. She's that's amazing at it. She beautiful. really is amazing. So they're all separate classes. And so uh, Lisa's class, I'm kind of getting mixed up here. Lisa's class will be at the hotel. Mm -hmm. What hotel did I say? It was Homewood Suites. Homewood Suites is where we always have our classes. Great place, wonderful place. And you can, you know, get hotel rooms mm -hmm. there too if you're out of town. Mm -hmm. And then mine will be, of course, over at the uh, SNR Sewing. SNR Sewing. And what kind of machine will they be sewing on? They will be sewing on a Bath Passport. Okay. All right. And... Uh, I just wanted something that was easy, mm -hmm. okay? I wanted something that made the best pin tucks in the whole wide world, which that uh -huh. one does. And it's a great class yeah. machine, too. Yeah. So anyway, so I, I wanted, I didn't want to have to be too complicated. Right. That's the point. So the, the details are on that link. Yes. And they can find things. out all yeah. the details. Yeah. And um, 
Man, these are so pretty. They really are pretty. So yeah. you're, the sewing machine class can hold up to 20 people. Right, is that right? exactly. So you, you're going to so, want to yeah. get registered soon Quickly. so that it doesn't, like, overfill. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you What's what we're going to... What's your experience you have to have to get in the class? Oh, none. Oh, wow. Zero. Zero. You can be a beginner. You can be a blessed beginner. I love that. That's I what it's all that. about. And even yes. in, even in uh, Lisa's dates. class. October 14th through the 19th. And then, or I'm sorry, 14th through the 17th for Lisa and Connie. And then if you'd like to do um, the Audra's. Um, Audra's class, that is the 18th. Now, okay, so Audra's would... class, I'm saying these two are beginner classes. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> But I think that she could teach probably just about anybody. I mean, mm -hmm. if you could, if you did hand embroidery, right? I feel like if someone showed me mm -hmm. how to make that mm -hmm. flower, mm -hmm. I could make that flower. Mm -hmm. But I have to be shown. Yeah. So I think that's the good part about it. This is beautiful. Oh, you it, guys. it is. It's unbelievable. She does a it's beautiful really job. Really beautiful. Now, I would talk about this. <laughs> how many times I've made this to get it right. Oh. <laughs> Now, here's where I was talking about, like, I have UFOs. UFOs. Are real. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Oh, I love this. So. You know what? I'm going to just tell you this. Uh, this makes me think of, um, I bought some antique runners, uh -huh. I guess, um, from a, a wonderful lady in Belgium that the, the school's the girls used to learn all the techniques uh -huh. on something like this, and then they just roll oh, them up, know. and and they they learned, I mean everything from hand sewn wow. buttonholes, pin tucks. This so looks like it. I'm gonna have to yeah. see if I can find it okay, to good. show you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. I love this. So this is what I was talking about. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm gonna hold oh, this up okay. here, and then. So don't pay a lot of attention to the workmanship <laughs> on this one because it is not gonna be in the picture. <laughs> I've made it three times now. And the only reason I've made it three times, I know how to make it. But what was happening was it was too hard. I was making it too hard. Oh. If it's too hard for me, and I had to think through every single time yeah. I picked up the scissors, then it's going to be too hard for my students, correct? I think so. So I, I just backed up. And the other day, I wanted to finish the whole thing before I got here. Mm -hmm. And I finally had to put it away and make a dress because I was like... So what part was too hard? This... Just getting it all together? No, it's... I ha This fabric is heavier. You can yeah, see it's yeah, a heavier yeah. linen. So mm -hmm. I was doing... Uh, you know, oh, a different way of, yeah, of, a, you know, of the, applying it. Yeah, right. and I was folding it back so it right. was... So okay. and that it made it too working. bulky. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it was yeah. too raggedy looking. I mm -hmm. was like, ah, 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 ah. yeah. So I start over again. <laughs> oh. I start over again and I make another one. And I'm thinking, I still don't like it. I just don't like it. And I've got this lace around here. And how am I going to get that around there and hook that on there? And I was like, okay. That's when I started over. <laughs> so Man. I put that away. Okay. All right, and now it's good. <laughs> so tell me what you did differently. All right, I can't. I, I can't tell what you did all differently. All right, I did. I did actually a lot different because oh, I did this fold has a, back. This has a back. Well, it, these do too. Oh, okay. That's how I do my. Okay. Oh, all right. Safe. All right. But I did. Uh, oh, the what do you call it? I folded it back so it was. Uh, what do you call it? Gosh, all of a sudden I lost it right there. Um, <laughs> I, w once I cut the fabric, I folded mm -hmm, it back, zigzagged mm -hmm, again, and mm -hmm, trimmed, mm -hmm. which made that too heavy. Yeah. See, oh, it made it, it, made it too, thick. too thick. Dude, I didn't like that. Okay. And I it didn't... looks pretty good to me. I, <laughs> I didn't want the lace to show in the back, because you did that one, all that junky stuff is showing in oh, the back. Okay. So if I do it like this and make the whole thing, and then finally put lace around the edge and put it onto this... Oh, now, I see. You cut you cut it yeah, away right from there. Right here. And I don't like that. Oh, yeah. I, I think this would so be So I think easier. this is I like easier. That. I like that. And so 
That's why. Love and it's beautiful, gorgeous. You can sell this to somebody in the class and they can pretend they exactly. did it. You can cut that up and put it in <laughs> the quilt. <laughs> well, what'd you, what'd you, sh oh, I know, uh, you saw a blouse. Where's that blouse? Oh, yeah. I, that, after I started, I saw this. And you know, my friend Peggy, I would talk about Peggy Dillbaum. When she first started, she started with Mark Cohn way before I did. And uh, she did the big schools. And one of her projects was doing these squares on I'm a... I'm going to let them see what you're doing, what you're talking on about. On a bodice. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did that. So they, they did, did the squares this, like, on the bodice. Smaller squares, right. and they did it across the bottom. Right. And that's how she taught them right. all the, you know, yeah. different techniques. But this blouse I found... Hey, that's in a soft that's, in a that's in a catalog. Yeah, soft wrapping. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And that's I thought, like well, that's see? like a real thing, you guys. Yeah. You could I was thinking that this would be cute if you made these squares bigger. Wow. And didn't use lace between it, use spaghetti see. bias between it. Right. Hello. Right. And you'd have it look at that. Oh, you could use lace between it, but some people don't like that's lace. That's cute. I like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that neckline, too. Anyway. So Very that, cute. this is my project. Very <laughs> cute. Wow. And you yeah. can see you put a lot of thought and effort into it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So anyway, that, and if you didn't want to make the table runner, guess what? <laughs> you could take this and put it on something else. And this I, would I be a know. gorgeous bourgeois pillow. Exactly. Can you so imagine? this is what see this is what will be That's here. That's pretty, but we needed to learn lace shaping too. Yeah, you know how to shape lace. So, so uh, is that on each side? It's yeah, on there's each a lace yeah. shaping on each yeah. side. Yeah, and I may find some like antique buttons or something and right. stick on there. You know who knows? Very very. But nice. that's why I made three. <laughs> so October. What to what? It is um, the fourteenth. Um, through the 17th, uh -huh. and, and then, then if you add on all rows, that's 18th and uh, 19th. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to learn how to do this, because I mean, this is this, beautiful. This this should be the cover of a book, book. or something. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's gorgeous. Lisa, uh, yeah, that's I've, so I've taken her class before. I mean, it's just, it's really you know kind of what you want to do and, and people have fun and yeah and you could take this like she's got a lot of different samples i mean she has so many samples like if you didn't want to do this you could take this and cut it up and put it on there wow. i got a little ah, when she picked up the scissors to cut mine up oh. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out good <laughs> So what fabric does she use on here? All, all kinds of all fabric? All kinds of fabric. Or is it like and a, a lot of it is... Um, is there felt, like wool felt no, and stuff well, like that or not? I don't know if there's wool felt. Some of these look like some doilies. Yeah, no, a lot does. of different cotton fabrics. She has does she a lot of antiques. Things? Does she? Mm, no. Doesn't. There's a lot of antique uh, stuff that she forages. That looks like a good um, October trip, everybody. It does. That looks It'll like be fun. a great October It'll be fun. trip. We can laugh a lot and eat a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there's always there's always food. There's always food. <laughs> right. <laughs> Connie said uh, when we started having classes here, and we, we added on the room that we're in right here, we added that as a classroom. And so I brought Connie in to say, what do we need? And she said, you need lots of electricity, you need lots of lighting, <laughs> and you need really good food. That's right. <laughs> and they're happy after that. That's right. <laughs> and so we always had a lot of all of that. Yeah, all of it. Yeah. All of it. Every bit of it. Yeah. It was fun. It was very and fun. So every, every day at the end of the day, I would head back to Sam's or Costco and fill up the get car the, and come back and get to come back and start cooking again yeah. but it, it was it was a good time yeah we, we made great friends yeah in fact i think in, in the martha Pullen school of art fashion that people used to faithfully attend people made such great friendships didn't oh they? long yeah. lasting yeah. friendships because i i know when there would yes. be people that came came here to our shop i mean to our our yep. classes here like gail would teach here or whatever and and I'm, i ask them how do you know each other because Martha they Paul might school. live in way, yeah, Martha Paul Martha school. school. They yeah. live in different parts of the country, right. and and their backgrounds completely different. And they were the best friends. And yeah. they said from a sewing school. So, so sewing or whatever hobby that you have, right? It's it's a real, yeah. Even now, I mean, kind of I, I just went with the, with the people on a cruise, and there's six of us, and mm -hmm. like, 
we're just friends. That's yeah. all there is to it. Yeah. And we're going to go to the quilting thing, and then, you know, I mean, we just are friends. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a sewing cruise? It was a sewing cruise that I didn't sew. Oh. <laughs> My sister went and she done sew, so I didn't sew. I did I did sew one class. Yeah. It was Missy Billingsley's cruise and I wanted to take oh, it. Uh, okay. So I took okay. her class. All right. Um and I didn't take the surgery class or anything like that. So I laid out in the sun and well not really in oh. the sun. But I went to see the sloth. Oh. I just see so I, my whole lifetime I've wanted to see a sloth and hold it and I got to do that. Oh you did? So it's off oh. off my bucket list. There you go. So, yeah. Good. But it was very fun. Anyway. So, so, how far, how are we doing here? We're doing great. So Connie, I, I love to find out about notions from Connie because she's the notions queen. And um, she is the one that told us that we needed to get these tweezers yep. that light up. And then right when we ordered them, then Gail Doan comes out with her bishop class oh. where she picked out all the, out of the dotted swiss. Yeah. I'm like, hey, talk about I'll perfect timing. You didn't no. even know it. This, these and, things are incredible as a matter of fact i was doing this when i was out at zelma uh, my friend zelma reed i was out at te in texas so mm -hmm. i stayed with her for a month and um, i would sit at night and pick these oh. things out and she said don't you need a light and i said nope oh because i have these i mean it just shined on it so you did you didn't need to look at look at how it shines all right i'm going to go to the overhead and they I mean, can it just see kicks that. it right out look at the oh, light oh i can see man you can really see the and light and you know really they're, wow they're really for eyebrows or, that, or yeah. uh, funny hair <laughs> <laughs> old lady hair I was at least i lady. could see it <laughs> old lady hair <laughs> and i thought oh that's why they made those. <laughs> <laughs> So, but anyway, so I, she said, don't you know? I said, no. And really, I sat there and it was like dark, but I could see my little thing, my little wow. puppies. It was wonderful. So you can't pull every dot of no. dotted Swiss, every type of dotted Swiss. No. This is a woven in dot. The dots that are woven in, they're, I call them like little thread tufts. They are like little yeah, thread they're, tufts. The, they're, um, they call it plumettas. And I um, never heard that term until they told me it right. Capital Imports. Yeah. But, but anyway, this is a this is a dotted Swiss we have from Spain. I love it. Isn't that oh. sweet? And I, I love the color you picked. It really brings out the blue in yeah. here. That's well. Gorgeous. See, I started off with white, and then I thought, oh, ah. oh, you started out smocking in white. <laughs> that right. Oh there. yeah. Oh my goodness. I thought, well, that's not gonna show. Oh, up. look at that. I don't know what the fabric is. It's gorgeous. Oh, it is so pretty. This is, well, we'll put a link to it. It's yeah. a, um, it's one of our fabrics from Spain. It's a dotted Swiss, uh, printed dotted Swiss. Plumetis, Plumetis, P-L-U-M-E-T-I-S. Or do, do we call that one that? I know we call the plain color, the solid color ones that. But. We call it Plumetis. We do? Mm -hmm. Okay. But, and then Sally has this trim, this. Is it or organza? Or it's organza? it's a like an organza ribbon that's pleated. It's already pleated, and I thought, well, surely. Yeah, when I saw that, so I wonder how much of that we have left. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. She used something that we. <laughs> well, you could pleat your own. But it, it's <laughs> like, yeah, but it's already sewn up the center. It's right. center, center it stitch. It's already and sewn then you up. You came in. I just and did your little yeah. What I did was machine I, stitch on there. I folded the the edge back. Uh huh. On, you know, to Did the you right fold side. it back? Oh, to the right side, so you don't see any raw edges exactly. here. Exactly. Okay. And then I sewed that little cute. color on there, but yeah, I thought it was cute. That's pretty. Well, this uh, smocking really brings out the brings All out of the this, flowers, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it brings let's, out let's the flowers. Let's see if we can show them. So, the raw edge of the sleeve is uh -huh. actually folded back uh -huh. toward the toward the toward right the side. right side. And then I laid this on top. Yeah. And just sewed that. We got a question. Why would you remove the dotted Swiss bumps? Well, because um, a lot of times when you're pleating, it hits that bump. It might break your needle, number mm -hmm. one. And then when you're smocking, uh, because I have smocked one without mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and the little tufts, like, they're all scrunched yeah, together, yeah. too, and then uh -huh. they, and then it all messes up the, the geometric for some mm -hmm. reason. So mm -hmm. it's better for your pleater to, you know, to remove them. That's really kind of cool. I know. It, it's like, <laughs> could you please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I'd have done that before. <laughs> yeah. 
Don't so be on the big little, screen today. <laughs> right. And so, of course, I put my... Oh, we need to... Can you mention your placket that, yeah, while you're okay. at it? Because sure um, Connie has a, a YouTube video yeah. instruction on the placket yeah. that she uses for... Right. Oops. Right. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, because so I'm going to go to the overhead on this. Okay. So so that Actually, they can, I have can some stuff outside of it. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do that first? Well, okay. you can go over. Okay, there. we'll go there. Okay. So, the reason that I came up with this placket is because a continuous placket I'm, in the back. I'm going to let uh, them yeah. see you talk. The continuous placket in the back of a of a bishop is hard for a beginner mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because a lot of times they put a French seam in the back and then when you cut that it's even bigger mm -hmm, at the bottom mm -hmm. so you know you yeah. kind of know what I mean mm -hmm. and so and everything is already sewn together and it just it was too complicated for me that some somehow I had to come up with an easier mm -hmm. way so I'd already come up with a placket that just had two pieces of fabric on it and I thought oh, well I can do that you know with this. okay so now I'm gonna so now show you yeah. up close and personal so we'll kind of lay that out there so you can see so what you need to do is take your back you know your two backs one of them you're going to add your elastic loops in if mm -hmm. you're going to use elastic mm -hmm. loop you don't have to use elastic loop mm -hmm. i just do because i don't like to make those loops so you just add that in your seam. And I usually put this down about the third pleating thread. I'm not going to go too much into it because you can watch the YouTube and, and mm -hmm. see that. Mm -hmm. All right, so i, I got to back up once. Okay. <laughs> You're going to cut two All pieces right. of fabric yep. that are two and a half inches wide. I like a, a one-inch placket because I don't want any gaposis in mm -hmm. the back of my dress. Mm -hmm. Fold it in half. You see how that's folded in half? Yeah, yeah. And you can either Fold in half, wrong size together. together. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you can either serge the bottom of it or you can fold it under. I do it mm -hmm. both ways, mm -hmm. depending on a lot of people don't want to see the serge, so mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So once you have it uh, folded the wrong sides together, then you'll add a piece on both sides of your back. But the this side right. is going to have the loops right. in it, or no loops, right. whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I serge down the whole back seam. So your your dress isn't closed anywhere. No. Okay. It's not right. closed anywhere, right. which makes it easier. Yeah, it does make see. it easier. Then it's easier to match it up. Right. Okay. So now you have your plackets on both sides. Yeah. So I got it. Yeah. So then all you have to do is you're gonna put them right sides together. Okay. All right. You're gonna pinch this together. Make sure you pinch both of those seams back towards the dress. Okay. You're gonna sew. From here, edge of the placket, mm -hmm. to the seam. Oh, just to, to the seam. this spot Don't right here. That. Okay. Don't throw okay. this seam. Yeah. Yep. Got it? Mm -hmm. Then you can open it up. Now you're going to mash the seam. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Towards the placket. Okay. Yep. And you're going to sew from here where that ended oh, up. Oh, okay. So then that, all the way that, back. that hides this, yes. this raw edge anyway. Right. And then the good part of it is now everything's going to be closed up. Yeah. And you can press your seam open. Oh, right. So I know because that's always a toughie. Does that make sense? Yes. Makes a lot of sense. I think, um, but it's just really not, it's really easy. So for this, people. this is on, you have a, this video on your YouTube, on my instructional YouTube. video. Yeah. yeah. So this, that's awesome, yeah. Connie. Yeah. Laura said her, your placket video is the best. Thank you. Aww. The continuous placket. Mm -hmm. I love the continuous placket one. I <laughs> I always say I draw everything. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to sew something and I know it needs to be exact, I'm going to draw it. Really? If I need to know it's the yeah. I'm just like that. I draw, draw, draw. Well, good. <laughs> now, let's see. What was this one? Here's, this is an old dress, actually, but I just finally put the neck band on and the placket in. So see, now it just flaps over like that. All right, so I'm going to go to the overhead so they can see it. I did a, a whole bishop video for classic sewing, and I think this is the bishop I worked on. That's how long ago it was. Wow, that's <laughs> but, pretty. Yeah, so this was your fabric. I, I love I that fabric. Yeah, I, I love, love that, that too. 
makes a pretty nice dressy and white. It's dressy. Yeah. It's a satiny, satin yeah. finish stripe. Yeah. That's I got a question about the classes. Yes, ma'am. Because if you sign up for the classes, are you enrolled in all of them? Aren't there separate ones? There, the two, uh, Lisa's and mine, you mm -hmm. sign up together. Um, Audra's, you sign up separately. Mm -hmm. But it's on that link it shows you. On okay. that link, uh, when you go to the bottom, uh -huh. uh, that's where you can find the link to Audra's. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Any other questions about the placket? I hope I hope they try it. I hope they watch that video. It'll be easier than watching, watching this, here. this. Yeah. yeah. But this is. But real this might help, help you. It does. You know, the two combined might help I, you. I need you to stand by me while I do one because I'd probably do it that way forever. I, I do a continuous placket yeah, all the you time. You do it like this every single time. If yeah. You do, once you do yeah, it, I could you really would see yeah. that that would be perfect. Okay, the other thing that I want to show you, because this is the video that's going to go up next on my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. is how to do faux cathedral windows. <laughs> you know, there's been a lot of cathedral windows. There's a quilt cathedral window mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. they sew, uh, and then they fold that back and then sew that mm -hmm, little bias mm -hmm. edge, right? I think all of you have seen that mm -hmm. one. And then um, I think it was... Um, Oh gosh, who was it? Uh, Stuart. Um, oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> See that what happens when you get old. Um, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll some, think somebody will come. Yeah, that will come. Her, yeah. her stuff is so amazing. It's amazing. I, I mean, I, when she the first quilt she did, I cried looking at it. Yeah. It was so. Her her work unbelievable. is exquisite. <laughs> Too bad we neither of us uh, can think had of our name, prevention yeah. today. Yeah. So. <laughs> We'll think of it in a second. Yeah. So anyway, because she's got three, she got three names. She has a, she has a. She, she went by a different name years yes. and years ago. She, yeah. What is it? Stewart, Janice Stewart. No, not Janice. It's not Janice, is it? Yeah, it was Janice Stewart. It was. Are you sure? Um, <laughs> I think I am, <laughs> but I could be wrong because I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> And you can ask anyone I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is gorgeous. Back to... <laughs> Back to this. Oh, okay. my goodness. Now, this was just because I wanted to make it. This is not. This will never be a pattern, I can promise you. I will never teach this class. But you might teach some techniques. I could teach the technique. Yeah. Let okay. me get this little fuzz off of here. And uh, this is... Pennington. Uh, Pennington. Sue Pennington. Oh, God. Susan Stewart. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah. Susan Stewart, Jenna yeah, Stewart. Yeah. I know a Jenna Stewart, yeah, too. Yeah, that's right. She was so that's in, right. too. Yeah. That's right. Okay. We'll see, we yeah. can get to it. <laughs> we came prepared. <laughs> that's all I could say. <laughs> and please forgive us yeah, whenever please, we do this please, to you. Please, please. Well, she came up with some um, cathedral windows mm -hmm. that you did in strips. Uh, you know, and you put lace behind it. it was two strips, butted up. You put lace behind it, and then you zigzagged little areas, and then folded it back. Mm -hmm. She's the one that came up with that. It was very beautiful. And I she, she's won huge prizes. Oh, on her, her quilts have won. <laughs> I mean, they're they like yeah. have, they're world renowned. I mean, I, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, but I wanted them. I wanted some cathedral windows that would move. Uh -huh. The curve. Uh -huh. So, a long time ago, when Sally first was out here, I mean, we didn't even have hardly any store, mm -hmm. she got in spaghetti bias. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. She said, What are we going to do with this? Because I like this. So let's know. get it made in every color. <laughs> what are we going to do with it? So, mm -hmm. I think I did uh, quite a few projects yeah. with it. And How then, about the. the, the the Christmas tree. Um, oh Lordy, mercy! Yeah. Outfit. That's that that's was a our classic. Oh yeah, it's a classic. It's, <laughs> it's our top selling kit of all yeah, time. It's yeah, it's amazing. So, yeah. But anyway, so the the video on YouTube, not to get too far yeah. away, is going to be how to make uh, cathedral windows. cathedral windows, faux cathedral windows, oh, either okay, with lace okay. behind or with fabric behind. Right. Okay. Right. And so this is one. I may okay, even. I'm going to go to the overhead yeah. here. This is no, a pillowcase. I did. Hold it up a little oh. bit for them too. Just, just go this way. Yeah, yeah, right here. So on, 
Yeah. Yeah. Never you know, that could be the bottom of a child's skirt. Put oh, some yeah. initials in yeah. there. This happened to be a pillowcase that I taught. Mm -hmm. And um, this was, this was th this long ago because I used a double, a double needle. needle. I don't even use a double right. needle on it anymore. Because then so. we were telling everybody use a double needle. Yeah. And, and then that changed. And that changed because it got too hard. Yeah. It was too thick. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. it's too thick. So anyway, back, back, back. You'll see a different way when you see it on the video. So this is with fabric behind it. Mm -hmm. Like an, sort of like an applique. I think it's really pretty. It is. And then this is with lace behind it. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just wanting, uh, you know, I like to peek behind yeah, things. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. See? It's yeah, so you cut away the white. Of the, I mean, actually, no, no, actually you, I didn't no, cut away nothing anything. cut away. No. Oh, okay. Actually, okay. Well, on that one, you put your printed fabric down, sew it, and cut up oh, to it, okay, and then okay, put the spaghetti okay. bodice on, which is just opposite right. of this. But probably, did you have a stabilizer? No. What's this little fuzzy stuff? Or is that That's just... the hem. So you put oh, the hem up okay, and okay. do the hem in there at the okay. same time, and then yeah, you don't have to hem it. Oh, I like that. So very smart, but I don't know why it's smart. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Now this this one is with lace behind it. Uh huh. So that's the right. So you can see I did cut behind this one. Right, right. And this I just use insertion the lace just insertion. Just as long as it's wide enough. It's wide to enough cover to cover up it the, up. Yeah. But here's what I want to talk about this too. This is the coolest thing. <laughs> I, I wanted it to actually be a little wider and not so, I wanted it to be, look like lace, in other words. So around the edge, I decided, well, I'll just use a, See if I can get a uh, scallop from the machine. Uh huh. And so that's what it, I did. It is tone on tone, so tone it's maybe you hard can, hard to see. I wonder if I can get it close enough. Maybe if I put my you hand. You can see it. And you can it, see I was, it? I immediately was like, what is happening there? Well, I yeah. mean, first thing I did was yeah. like this, because you know we have that Pico that's edge right. stuff, and I tried to pick it and up. And it's not Pico edge. And, it, and it's sewn. <laughs> yeah, it's sewn down. Now, here's the thing. For the faint of heart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> or the really anal people. Anal people. Yeah, there's two <laughs> types of people. There are people like this, and there's people like this. I'm the yeah. person like, okay, would this is going to be on somebody. Mm-hmm. And their nose will not be up there. That's right. Okay? That's it will right. not. There's no way that you could go, all right, I need seven scallops yeah, from yeah, here to here. Yeah. Can't happen. Right. Not in this life. Yeah. So, <laughs> not unless you were embroidering something. So, there's short ones. There's a little space in between this one. It's wherever it stopped. That's where I stopped and turned. You, and and you so, can't did tell you that. start again? Like, did you... Did you stop here and then cut your threads and start no, again, or no. did you just come back see around? That, see that? I yeah. just skipped over there. Okay, but I mean, and I would never ever look at this and say, no. "Look at the, look at this." Right. That's what I really kind of want to get across yeah. is sometimes you have to give yourself some grace. Right. Honestly, and let it go. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. I hate you got it so nice and pretty, but I'm gonna hold this up for. I wonder if I could. Or the um, Instagram people, and so where Connie was showing, uh, it, this is a machine scallop stitch. Yes. This is not an embroidery machine. No. This is her sewing machine scallop stitch, and it really looks like you could do this pick it up. and pick yeah. it up. It's so pretty. Sally so like the sleeve. I do love the sleeve. And this you could do on this you could do on anything. You don't have to do the front of a. Yeah, you, know, you could do it on a child's dress. You don't have to do. And all you wouldn't that. have to do all the no. cathedral windows, but you no. could do this technique. It's so it's just pretty. Just spaghetti bias on each side. Man. It just makes it look a little sturdier, you know, without. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I absolutely Ooh. love it. Yeah, it's it's really pretty. I just now unearthed it. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah, because I finally got all my stuff moved up to Virginia in February, say, which isn't that long ago. And I saw this and I thought, oh, I need to save it out. I hadn't seen it in a while. There's a lot of things I haven't seen for a while. <laughs> Man. But I will. But it's, it's pretty. So, yeah. So with this, did you put it on a, a stabilizer? I did put it on a stabilizer, yeah. yeah. Because I think it would be yeah, hard draw if, you, it if you didn't. Yeah. yeah. And this had stabilizer. So then too. you would actually, you sewed your spaghetti 
You sewed your spaghetti bias to the edge of the insertion, right? On each side? You Not just sewed, sewed the it. lace onto the shirt, onto the sleeve. Oh, you oh. I sewed the lace on. Lace and in the then sleeve. I, then I sewed the spaghetti bias on, then I cut that fabric from behind. Oh, oh okay. So I'm, I'm thinking that, yeah. that, that that was You just already, made it too hard. I made it too hard. Yeah. But much easier to sew it onto the fabric. Right. Okay, right. Okay, okay, right. okay. Okay. Man, that makes so much I mean, more sense. You could, in no, essence, but that, do that. But why do it? If you want to put it on something else, I guess, you know. No, but... It's a lot of ways to do everything. That's what happened when I did that table runner. Yeah. It just was not right. <laughs> and it was but too did, hard. <laughs> but did you do that same thing with, with your front? Yeah. Did you sew the lace first? The lace first. Lace on first. And then... Yeah, but how'd you do it so that... So that it's I drew like okay, I I'll show you. Yeah, you. okay. Okay, I drew the footballs on. Okay. I, I laid the lace down. Okay. I sewed right. the lace on my lines. Oh, and then you trimmed, trimmed the, the lace. lace up to the line. Ah. Put the spaghetti bias on. Flipped it over. Cut from behind. Wow. See? And then. So before you cut it, then did you do all this um, yeah, extra Yeah, you could stitching? do all that before you did it. You could do it before or after. Oh, it wouldn't matter. Oh, okay. And so on the inside of this, I just sewed a straight stitch on the inside. Right, right. But you want to see the sleeve on the overhead, and what stabilizer did you use yep. on the lace and the sleeve? Okay. <laughs> just make a guess. Yeah, no. I, I know what I used. Let's see. I used a sulky... Uh, tear away okay on this okay. I want something that's lightweight mm -hmm. that'll tear away easily mm -hmm. without a lot of mess and it wasn't a I'm not using dissolver no. was it dissolvable no. it no. okay um, I, see I, if I, I, don't, did, I don't want paper because paper doesn't really stay there okay it it perforates right and right, then right, it's right. gone yeah. so now if I had stabilizer underneath here, which I did. Mm -hmm. I would sew one side, tear my stabilizer off, put more stabilizer underneath, and do the other side. Oh, because it's too it hard. Do... No, it's too hard to pull the stabilizer out from between oh, those two. Oh, right, it gets too right, 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 right. Yucky. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Does that make sense? It does. It makes sense. But see, I, I, I can't even think like that. That. Yes, definitely sewing your lace that to the shows fabric you to first. Yeah. That mm -hmm. is so so smart. There's everything on it probably. Yeah. It's, no, it's fine. It's probably from here. Oh, I love that. Oh All good. Right. I'm glad. That's beautiful. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. Okay. Now, any other questions? <laughs> So now that we've this is a <laughs> this is a really pretty that, embroidery that's design. An embroidery. Mm -hmm. that's Do you remember where it came from? Uh, it would be one of the Martha Pullen CDs originally. Yeah, yeah. You know, so no, I don't know which so one it's it, from. So it's got cut work uh -huh. as well as embroidery. Right, right. Yeah. That I would have used some water soluble stabilizer. Are you oh. telling me this is brand new? Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yay! Because. Guess what? Woo! I'm not showing it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you are. <laughs> Christy Newsom just came in. I must be FedEx just delivered the new. Mine um, came at home and I have not home. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this That's is so a new cute. classic sewing. There you go. Best of summer sewing. <gasps> cute, cute, oh, cute. Oh, this is Trisha Smith, yes, right? Yeah. Trisha Smith on the yeah. front. Trisha That's Smith. Cute. Oh, I always like to. Can't wait. My, my favorite thing to do is find our ad. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh, how cute is this? That is so not our sweet. ad, but look, look at, look yeah, at this. It's so sweet. That's Aww. adorable. Aww. And so, everybody, hang on a minute because here there we are. It is. I love the backs like that. Look That's at so this. Cute. Oh. I can't show you our. Sally, don't give it away for I free. I can't show you our coupon code. Oh. <laughs> I thought, what was she? You gotta buy this magazine to get a fifteen percent <laughs> off coupon code. It's like whoop, whoopee! 
look at our little girl. Oh, he's so, so cute. This is um, Emma's little niece, Aww. and this is Christy Newsom's granddaughter. That's so cute. And so they cute. were as cute as pie. Oh, I, can't I love them it. sitting at the back. So like, that know. is so cute. Like a little tripping down there. Oh. And and oh. this little gal really isn't walking yet, but they hung onto the table. <laughs> and uh, this one's walking, and so we had to keep her from jumping in the pool. And we have kits for both of those. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, we do. We have kits. This <laughs> is a dotted Swiss, and then this is a, a seersucker plaid from um, uh, Fabric Finders. You know, the first time, well, not the first time, well, the first picture we had done of, um, I think it was Colton. Oh, here's another back picture, not from us, cute. though. Look at, look at how cute that is. Yeah. It, no, it's good. It, it was Colton, I think. And, yeah, it was Colton. And uh, I was taking him to the photographer, and she said to me the night before, now, he does sit up, doesn't he? Well, let, no. Oh, I'm how old so, was he? He was six months. You know, some of them sit up at six months, some of them don't sit up at six months. So, by the grace of God, he sat the up. next morning, he sat up. Oh, you're well, kidding. Well, I was about to say, Banks was taking one or two steps at that point. Yeah, now she's, she's everywhere, isn't everywhere. she? Yeah. yeah. It just, like, couldn't you have walked a little sooner, lady? I know. I, know. I have to show oh, you. Oh, I was so worried about this. This is our friend, Evie Hawkins, a bit of stitch. Oh, it's so beautiful. She oh, does, man. She does the prettiest stuff. Her things <laughs> are gorgeous. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna love this. It's called Perfect Pansy. Oh, oh, you're gonna love this. That's pretty. Look at that. Pretty, pretty. Mm. Oh my goodness. Bella <clears throat> says Connie is always so creative and That's an right. excellent designer. Who said that? Uh, Zelma. Oh, oh Zelma. <laughs> my so, Sally, thank you for having my Connie friend. Oh, <laughs> oh. My well, precious friend. That's right. Well, we need to show. <coughs> we need to show this. Oh yeah! Oh gosh! I almost forgot. Because this, yeah, that's because see, when I realized that I was going to have to do that center over again, I folded everything up the day before, and I thought I'm going to make a dress. I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to make a dress. And when I went back to that, it was fine. Mm -hmm. But I had <laughs> so so I made this dress. This Isn't it is cute? Um, Peony Patterns Willow. Willow. I, I love the deep ruffle at the bottom. I think yeah, it's so it's cute. Not, yeah, it is cute. So Connie's like, she's up in Virginia. She's like, what do I have? So she found a I little found piece, a piece of summer fabric, and it was pieces. big enough to yeah. put this dress together. But look at the back. Yeah. Isn't that cute? It's sweet. It's very but, summer. But the sleeves, the sleeves are is very, really, very interesting. This, is, this dress this has some techniques that are pretty fascinating. Yeah. So let's turn it wrong side up. Yeah. This when you cut out the sleeve. I'm gonna go to the overhead okay. for yeah. The sleeve is cut on the fold at the bottom. Okay. And then you open it up so you can see your fold. There. Right. You measure up a half inch mm -hmm. and from the fold and draw a line. And then you mark a half inch in on each side. Like where the underarm side right. seams are. That's where the elastic is going. Man. And so you have a piece of elastic the a certain length need, and then you stretch, stretch it, it and across. Sew it. And then when you turn it right side out, it's like this little fluffy. I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like, because the first thing I did was grab that sleeve and look <laughs> in the inside. <laughs> because it looks like a sleeve that the outer layer is puffy uh -huh. and the inner layer is a straight sleeve right. and you puff you, you That's exactly gather up like. the outer yeah. layer you gather it up and you sew it to the inner layer mm -hmm. and so it's like a yeah like a what kind of skirt like a balloon skirt but, like a balloon a, skirt. Yeah. yeah but this so much easier because it's right. just you know it has the same exact look without all the effort so simple. It was yeah. so and simple. So I thought, wow, that is so. You gather that sleeve yeah. at the shoulder, both layers, and then this this part's already done. Right. How and cute then, is that? It really is cute. But then there's another little thing too that she loved. You you like the way? I like the back. The back. I'm gonna go to the overhead again. Cause you weren't gathering up all of this. Right. So to the to here. To here. Yeah. This panel right here was a straight strip. And mm -hmm. you folded it in half, and you made a casing, and you ran the elastic mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. the size you needed. 
and then you sewed up the side seams of the bodice and mm -hmm. got all that done. Mm -hmm. Then you sewed your skirt on. So as you pinned it, so you just right pinned it around like this and sewed it, and then it has this. Let me go a little bit. I'm flipping it around, have can wider. See now. now you can see it. Okay. It's not so gathery up here. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it fits. Right. Because this this skirt part is gathered to that band. Right. Yeah. And it's the same length. Oh, and the band, the see, band is the, the same, same length, length as yeah. the bodice front. Right. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Because otherwise... So, you, willow, willow. Willow. Did that make sense, y'all? Yeah, it made sense to me. Okay, I'm good. sitting right here looking okay, at good. it. Okay, <laughs> good. And then, then everything's lined. The bodice and everything is lined. Is lined. Right. And so that, you can finish it up so pretty. Right. And it really is a good one. And you'll see if you look the pattern up. Mm -hmm. To have a different lining. You know, and then, you know, this this could be a little oh, right. different. Oh, right. Because the then, here, and then, like you have a gingham around. or yeah. something like that. It's a it cute. show. It's yeah. cute. It it's is just really cute. cute. Yeah. So I sewed that up and then I went back to the table runner. <laughs> Yeah, because you could whip that together. I could. I was like, okay, this is this is, has this torture has to stop. But I, I liked something that you said to me earlier today when we were talking about the questions. You you said you like to look for an easier way to do things, I do, right? Always. Um, and I think that's why people like the class. Mm -hmm. Your classes. Maybe I because it's like I, why do it the hard way if there's I'm not a, doing it the hard way. Right. If there's an easy way. That's yeah. What I say. That's yeah, right. Don't you That's think? Say, it's like yeah. sometimes you look yeah. at a pattern and think, "I wonder why they did it that way." I, just, I do that. I do that a lot. Like, yeah. What? I know. <laughs> Especially if you sewn for a long time right. too, you're like, "There's and the this." I was way excited about because those were th ways Listen, I never I'm, even used. I've never yeah. seen it done uh, like this. No. This is super cute. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And that. I'm not very experienced, but every once in a while. No, I'm gonna do it a different. I know it's the truth. And the thing is, it's okay. It is all right. There's so many ways, right. so many plackets, so many ways to do plackets. You choose your way. Yeah. I always say to students, try my way one time. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, don't ever do it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it the way you were, but try something. Yeah. That's the only. Try everybody's way. Not just mine. I say that to my granddaughter, who is a picky eater. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't talk about that, because I didn't like liver, and I was oh, not no. even <laughs> I was like, try one bite. Yeah. And, um, you know, she, her, her, the thing she likes, you can count on one hand, practically. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. You want to see the little blueprint dress. Are they talking about the one hanging up right here? This? Must be. This, this is just, we, we've shown this before. This is... Um, where is it? It's like, Caden said. No, this he, is a 90 minute pinafore. We uh, made it, Regina made this, made it into a top. 90 minute pinafore. Yeah. I haven't hemmed it because I want the, some of the granddaughters to try, try it on it and on see, first. Yeah. see how short it should be as a top. <laughs> so what did Caden say? Oh, Caden's okay. well, a picky eater. You know, he's not as much now, but you know, that was the time he's, his mother said, you have to eat the chicken. You can't just eat the fruit. Oh. And he said, he looked at her and he said, you know I'm a fruititarian. Oh, a fruititarian. <laughs> I said, is there a word for fruititarian? Yeah. I didn't even know there was that's a word. That's funny. Yeah. That is funny. He'll probably be president one day or something yeah, like that. That's, you know, that's you right. know I'm a fruititarian. Yeah, fruititarian. <laughs> He's the one that quit quit uh, playground. Oh. I didn't know you could quit playground either. He said, yeah, I did. I just went and sat down. Oh. I quit playground. <laughs> I quit playground. That's funny. One last okay. question. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Can you sew the floral swiss dotted fabric on the willow pattern? Oh, could what you now? do? Yeah, you could do the dotted swiss. Of course. Because you're going to line here. it anyway. Yeah. The only thing I would is, line it in a solid color, though. Yeah, I would line it like in white or, mm -hmm. you know, probably yeah. white. Just and line you might it even white. make a simple um, lining for the skirt. Yeah. I mean, because you could. it's, it's going to be thinner. You could actually make another layer when you're gathering this up. Right. Just, Just one straight, one straight yeah, down. One straight right, piece. right, right. The yeah. same width as this one. That's right. That's and what I would do. Just gather it together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you could. Said, it's awesome that you had enough fabric, Connie, to whip up that dress. When we see fabric, we like 
um, what's the amount we should purchase? Oh, I don't, well, the thing is, is usually if I have three yards, I've got enough to make mm -hmm. like to a size mm -hmm. five or mm -hmm. something, you know, of something like yeah. that. So I try to, a 45 inch fabric. I try to buy <coughs> three yards. I don't do it as much as I used to because I was getting quite a bit. Yeah. But that is in bins right now in another area. Yeah. <laughs> But wait till I get that stuff out. You watch what's going to go that's on. Right. One day. <laughs> one day. Well, have uh, we left anything out? Because we, we should have a drawing. We kind of okay, yeah. got Ooh. chatty here. We did. I'm sorry. No, don't. Why apologize? <laughs> don't apologize. So we we um, pulled out some random random things here. You, you know, you you recognize them. Huh? We've got a really really old. We were laughing about this before everybody. Um, made things on the computer and, and so they're them. just hand drawn but this is a really beautiful so pretty. pattern for a beautiful little dress yeah. or nightgown and some vintage um, uh, so beautifuls and then this is a Martha Pullen The Joy of Smocking mm -hmm. and um, then these are Connie's patterns so this is the little girl pattern Ella and that Ella was named after my mom mm -hmm. And then here's Ella the doll dress, mm -hmm. and Emma Jo is named mm -hmm. after Emma Jolene, my granddaughter. And here's Michelle's Madeira, named after um, Connie's granddaughter. granddaughter. And I don't know why I don't have the the thing named after your mom. It's like where is it? Marjorie. Marjorie. But I've got we know we have a Marjorie. And we have a Marjorie. Marjorie is named after Connie's mom. Right. Anyway, somebody's going to win all yeah, these. Yeah, somebody's going to win them all. And then you need to... Um, Any problems with them, find somebody who knows. I <laughs> <laughs> raise Paul yeah, Sally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Call Sally. I'll give you a tiny <laughs> Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, dear me. All right, so <laughs> who, who's going to win, Connie? I wish I would. Reach in the yeah. Yeah. Do I just have one? You have one. Okay. This is Sandy Brannon. Exciting to see Connie Palmer at far Farmhouse. Recently saw a video on by Connie on gathering and sewing fabric to trim and use see. on a project I was doing and have the nicest gathers ever. Was it Sandy that did it? I think so. I can't remember. I don't remember yeah. who it was. I, we, the other yeah. person had a comment too. Thank you, Connie, and thank you, Farmhouse, for all the great fabric. That's so, so sweet. Thank you. Aww, I'm so glad you came. Me too. So, Sandy, <clears throat> Sandy Brannon. Sandy <laughs> Brannon. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so Thank much you. for watching yeah. our blubbering. <laughs> hey, we didn't even cry. No, we didn't. <laughs> Let's do it now. No. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, dear. Oh, boy.